Hello dear students, welcome to 10th standard social science. Today I am presenting most important 3 and 4 mark questions with answers. This will be presented to you in 2 episodes. Today I am presenting episode 1. So let us know the important questions chapter wise and I am presenting the most important 3 and 4 mark questions with key answers. Number 1. So let us start taking down all these important questions and know the short answers. I have made answers very simple, easy to score. In the first lesson, Advent of Europeans to India, you must learn Marthanda Varma, Battle of Plassey and the Battle of Buxar. Question can be like this. Marthanda Varmanu, Dutcharanu, Hege Himmetisidano. In English, how did Marthanda Varma fight out the Dutch in Travancore? So the answers can be very brief, so you can follow these points. Marthanda Varma compiled an army of 50,000 soldiers and he defeated the Dutch and controlled spice rich areas. Like this, these six points you can mention one after the other. What are the terms of subsidiary alliance? Yes, students, ye on the prashnege answer na tumba short agi crisp agi paradidene nor kole. The Indian kings had to keep the British army in their kingdom. The state had to bear the expenses of the army. The king had to have a British resident in his court. Adetara inno more point na paradidene yella vanna channa agi kalt kolbe kagate. Write the impact of land tax introduced by the British. Very important question. Here, again, six points you need to write. A new class of zamindas who exploited the farmers was created. The farmers became landless slowly. Land became a commodity. Many zamindas mortgaged their lands to pay the land taxes. The agriculture sector became commercialized. The money lenders became strong. Etra, write the impact of British education on India introduced by the British. Indians could develop modernity, secularism and democratic attitudes. Not only that, Indians could also develop rationality along with nationalistic ideals. Local literature and languages grew. Periodicals also started emerging. So, these points are very brief. Please have a screenshot of this and learn. What are the reforms introduced by Lord Cornwallis? The efficient police system, the new post of superintendent of police, and the dividing district to farm stations, and appointing court walls. And he put every village under the care of Chowkidar. Kotwal was made for crime. Kotwal was made responsible for crimes. These were the reforms brought by Cornwallis. Krishnaja Vodayar IV is a maker of modern Mysore state. How? Very important question. He abolished fees in all primary schools. He helped girls' education. He started the University of Mysore. Gave scholarship to the students who wanted to study in foreign country like that Tata Institute in Bangalore and a barrage across river Kaveri near Bilabala, iron factory, steel factory, cement, paper factories at Badravati, sugar factory in Mandya, sandal oil factory in Mysore, soap factory in Bengaluru were established. He got the title called Rajashri from Mahatma Gandhi. Chikdev Raja Vodayar was an able administrator, justified. So all these points you need to write children, very important one. Apart from these points, Chikdev Raja Vodayar started Atara Kacheri, postal system and a dam across river Kaveri was constructed. Write the reasons and the results of the third Anglo-Mysore war. Dear students, 
reasons you know very well ayakota and kanganuru were handed over to british by raja of travancore and british started building fort in cochin this angered tipu as these places were belonged to him the results the war ended with the treaty of shrirangapatana tipu was forced to part with half of his kingdom he was forced to pay 3 crore rupees as war damage fee he was also forced to release the prisoners of war how did rani chennamma and sangolli rayana fight british rani chennamma opposed the doctrine of laps she appoint she adopted shivaling upon the throne as a successor she killed colonel takre colonel deacon defeated the army of chennamma and arrested her rayana was a brave soldier he fought for the independence of kitturu he developed sense of nationalism so e points galana nivo rivekagutte finally rayana was cunningly captured and hanged till death amarasulya rebellion is a unique movement against british how british dethroned chikkavira rajendra of haleri dynasty this incident created political instability in kodagu swami aparampara and kalyana swami were imprisoned puttabasappa continued the movement but unfortunately all the rebellions of kodagu were hanged till death what are the reforms advocated by raja ram mohan roy he advocated monotheism opposed meaningless rituals and it advocated equality of men and women and a share in the property to women to honor her dignity it also opposed child marriage gave importance to english system of education what are the principles advocated by dayananda saraswati he declared that only vedas are authentic he realized that vedas are remedies and declared back to vedas he wrote a book called satyartha prakash swami vivekananda is a role model to indian youth how so all these points you need to write he said that casteism can be eradicated through education what are the contributions of mrs ani besant anibesan said that indian culture is far more superior to the western culture her movement was reformation movement of hinduism wanted education for all she became the president of indian national congress and before that she had started home rule league and she edited a newspaper called new india write a note on narayana dharma paripalana yogams movement It was started by Narayana Guru in Kerala. One caste, one religion, and one God for human beings was the basic idea. Why come Satyagraha movement was started to demand the entry for lower caste people in Shiva temple at Why come? Corruption, status of women, and illiteracy. all these were the challenges and how the government of india and karnataka tried their best to fight out them for example first one is corruption ethical values strong leadership committed political parties can weed out corruption along with these lokayukta and lokapal institutions education institutions increasing the number of judges and courts can weed out corruption harsh punishment to corrupt officials and proper awareness to public are the few steps to fight out corruption likewise how to improve the status of women women commission women and children welfare department are established and compulsory education of girls 
33 percent of reservation sri shakti vivatu mandala mahila mandala and abolition of child marriage and dowry are the measures taken to fight to improve the status of women likewise these concentrate on smuggling poverty communalism and all these are very very important in the examination point of view write a note on the relationship of russia and india very important question i hope you know all these answers nowadays the relationship of india and china is spoiled why these are all simple and crisp points please mention them nuclear threat foreign threat challenges and military advancement in the border areas by china causing damage in the relationship what are the legal and constitutional measures taken to eradicate untouchability very important question quite often asked question right the reason for the unemployment over population mechanization too much of division of labor social inequality insufficient capital and illiteracy measures taken to control unemployment population control encouragement to cottage industries agricultural development all these to be learned at least 6 out of these points to be mentioned differentiate the organized and unorganized labor dear students when this question is asked you need to write box like this and to the left side unorganized organized and to the right side unorganized and you can go on differentiating them with examples write the importance of himalaya and write the importance of coastal plain two questions are given in the same slide your answers also are given in the same slide importance of himalaya on the left side all short points likewise importance of coastal plains it is useful for fishing ship building agriculture and production of salt and attract tourists for its beautiful beaches what are the reasons for soil erosion what are the effects of soil erosion and mention the measures of conservation of soil all these are very important question you are not supposed to neglect soil erosion deforestation overgrazing unscientific cultivation over irrigation and lack of bunds parallel you have given you soil conservation construction of bunds development of terraced agricultural field limited grazing planned use of water and contour plowing what are the measures taken to conserve forest types of forest must be learned dear students in one slide i have given you both deforestation the reasons and measures to conserve forest what are the objectives of five years plan very important one increasing the production to the maximum extent possible increasing the employment opportunity and national income standard of life of people all are important points these are the objectives of five years plan list out the achievements of five years planning in india the rate growth has increased the per capita income has grown self sufficiency has been achieved in the production of food grain all these are important points life expectancy and literacy rate of people have improved birth and death rates have reduced 
what are the suggestions made in the pre-harvest and post-harvest technology in agriculture as per ms swaminathan scientific cultivation use of hybrid seeds use of chemical fertilizers and scientific irrigation are required the post harvest scientific harvest processing marketing very much required support price warehouse cold storage facility also will help the farmers list out the characteristics of bank and entrepreneur both are given in the same slide very simple very easy please make note of all these points functions of bank and functions of entrepreneur any one of these two guarantee please learn like this and you will score very good marks mention the different types of banks existing in india rbi cooperative society land development bank industrial development bank exim bank must be mentioned differences between current account and recurring deposit account please learn them write the steps followed to open an account in the bank how to complain in the consumer court these two questions are given in the same slide so the steps followed to open the bank account must not be changed its order it should be in the same order how to complain in consumer court there is no prescribed pro forma to file a case a complaint may be typed or or handwritten it should include proper name and address telephone number a person or organization against whom we are complaining must be written no lawyer no fees other service of bank and service of post office i'll give you both the answers in the same slide to the left side post office and its services and other service of the bank dear yes, students all these are very very important three and four mark questions kindly go through this and these points are very short very brief and you can learn very quickly i wish you all the best remaining questions i present in the episode 2 all the best